this whole digital transformation that's been going on. So we as individuals now, we have been digitized or dematerialized and we're now represented digitally by this information, which is why we now have the term data subject, right? Instead of person, <laughs> human subject, we have a data subject. Um, the next thing is that the internet is now everywhere. It's, it, for companies, it's the corporate network. It's no longer this thing that sits behind a firewall because at the edge of your, your, your company, it's everywhere. The internet is, is your corporate network. So this data is uh, maybe residing in the cloud, on premises, um, but it's accessible by individuals all over the place. So we need to now start to thinking about how am I gonna keep this thing private? And what does privacy mean? Well, we, we speak to this now as how to protect the, the individual's privacy, or should I say identity? How do I, you know, why do I have to do this? What, what, what does all that mean? Well, think about it. Um, I have asked you for your data. So I now have a digital representation of you, all right? I have custody of that. Um, and I got this from you for a particular purpose because I have custody of this data. Does that mean I can do anything with it? No, all right? Um, does that mean I can have anybody anywhere come and look at it? No, all right? And this falls into what we talk about, the, the rights of, of the, the data subject. And I have the right to for my data only to be kept for the specific purposes that you asked me for it for, that I transacted you to do some business for me for. Um, and I have the right to make sure that that data is kept private. And that's really the crux of the matter. Um, and how, how do you go about doing that? Well, that's, a, that's another thing that we, we, we can discuss.